Well, that's not good. Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloudplays here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we have got, hopefully, some very, very good news. We have had some issues since we started on Outriders World Slayer. This has been a bit of a dilemma solely around the basis of the servers. Again, second time in a row now. That's frustrating. But irrelevant to it, we have managed to finally get some resolutions behind this. So essentially the way this has worked is the launch of the game caused a few problems yet again just like it did a year ago with regards to their servers being able to contain the capacity of the amount of players that were trying to get in. Now this is quite a normal thing that happens to multiplayer games, this is quite a normal thing that happens to looter shooters and this is just what well, it's quite just a normal thing. Although because this is Outriders we kind of all labelled this down to the same bucket of this shouldn't have happened a second time regardless of any excuses that may have arised and that for me is a little bit stupid but irrelevant to it we're going to get into the details today and give you the latest update on what is going on with the Outriders basis let's get into it if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated okay let's go so, today we are talking about Outriders World Slayer, the server issues that we seem to have encountered over the last 24 hours. Well, I am pleased to announce that these should no longer be a problem to you guys, as Outriders has just tweeted out that our online infrastructure has been running on green for the last 18 hours with fast logins and stable connections. We appreciate some of your faced long logins yesterday, but we don't anticipate this issue tonight. We look forward to welcoming you back to Enox Outriders. Now, the one thing I have seemed to have posted the question for is, are we expected to see this happen again? We've got the global release of the game tomorrow, and I am extremely concerned that we may face another freaking bucket load of people that are going to try and come in, and it's going to cause an absolute shed ton of problems. I may be wrong, we may have got a resolution right here, but the game itself is absolutely phenomenal. I can't personally keep off of it, and even though I actually went to go get my tattoo earlier, that was the only time I've taken off of the game since it released last night. This has been a bit of a dilemma though for a lot of people and has put a lot of people off of the game and hopefully after this video you guys will give it another crack and see exactly how much hard work they've put into the title of World Slayer. This game has been quite a subjective one and one that a lot of people were not sure whether they were going to be bothering with solely on the basis of the way that the original game actually played out and... If we're going to be completely honest, the original game played out like absolute trash. I had around 300 videos on this game and none of them were really any good. That's just the damn truth. But this time around, we should see very different outcomes. Main reason being is because actually the game is now, well, good. There seems to be a massive, massive influx in the end game loop cycle. We have got a massive looting system now that involves whole new tiers of weapons and armor sets. We've got actual new armor sets and weapons. There is there's just so much that we've got, guys. We've got so damn much. I feel so happy. They've actually really, really done a good job. And we did a full live playthrough of the entire campaign late last night. It was three hours later than the original launch, which was not anticipated here on the channel at all. But I did wait for all the server issues to happen so you didn't have to watch a home screen as well as your home screen for hours. But irrelevant to it, it was a absolute shed ton of fun. The mechanics are mental. They've done so much to the game and it has picked it up and turned it round. And now, hopefully, we are not going to experience any more connection issues, server problems, any sort of lagging detail or anything like that. We are noticing a few kinks in the armor and a few chunks missing and this is revolved around sort of like the whole dynamic of bugs and glitches and stuff like that and that is going to happen i have kind of found quite a few of them so you may see some more videos coming up very soon because there's actually probably a lot more than i care to admit there is but uh, yeah, so far so good. The game's doing really well and hopefully we don't have to experience any more bugginess and issues and stuff like that. What I will state is while I have you here and while you are in today's video, the end game is uh, really, really good. And actually, the trial of Taria Gratar is actually really enjoyable. Now, what I will say is already after 24 hours, what I have experienced is lobby kicks 
quite a bit, actually. I've been removed from quite a few, regardless of, of what you may think. This is not due to any other reason other than the factor of finishing it. We finished the trial and then got booted straight afterwards. Luckily, I managed to click on my loot that I wanted long before I got kicked. So it essentially meant that I still obtained my loot and it went straight through to the stash. But if we can please avoid treating other players like absolute dog doo-doo and removing them so that they don't actually get loot or anything, then that would be amazing because, well, let's be real, that's just damn right out of order. Anywho, that's all we got time for today. Go and enjoy your World Slayer DLC. I am actually just so damn happy that they've done such a good job with this. They really, really have. We gave massive props last night to PCF, Square Enix, and as always, I'm going to say a final thank you guys and a like, subscribe with post notifications turned on would be appreciated as it always is here on the channel. And as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds. I'm going to finish this dude and hopefully obtain some nice Luteus Maximus. Ho! Oh, legendaries for days, boys. Legendaries for days. Let's go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, new stuff. And I actually know that this thing is pretty damn broken. So who knows? We may even do a video on this one very soon. Appreciate your faces. And I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you.